Hello to everybody! In this video, we'll be talking about how to solve the limits of a function with the assistance of my friends, Jay Lakap, Catrice Maglake, Kevin Torres, and credits kay Neil Santa Ana kasi siya yung nag-edit ng video na. Start tayo with a quick overview of this lesson. What are a function's limits? Limits of a function ay ang foundational study of calculus. Also, it describes how a function behaves as an independent variable approaches a certain number. Again, they'll be talking about how to solve theorems 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 7 with the assistance of my friends. Firstly, so, sa theorem 1 po is limit of c as x approaches a is equal to c, wherein c is a constant po. So, may pinipare po akong examples para po mas maliwanagan tayo. Limit of 5 as x approaches 4 is equal to 5 pa rin po. Kasi po, 5 po yung constant natin. Number 2 po is limit of negative um, 7 po. As x approaches 5 is equal to negative 7 pa rin po. Kasi po, diba, si negative 7 po yung constant natin. Ganun na po kadali yung um, theorem na. Bali sa theorem 2 naman po ay limit of x as x approaches a is equal to a. Bali, ang gagawin lang po natin dyan ay yung a po natin, yun din po yung final answer natin. So, ito ba example ko. Limit of x as x approaches 8 is equal to 8 pa rin po. Dahil nga, di ba po, si yung a po natin is 8 then. Number 2 naman po ay limit x as x approaches negative um, 1 is equal to negative 1 pa rin po dahil yung a po natin is negative 1. Ganun lang po siya kadali. And may tip po ako sa inyo. Pag nakakita na po kayo ng x, automatic na po yun na theorem 2 po ang yun. Appreciation to Jay Laka, Catrice Maglake. Please continue discussing theorems 3 and 4. Now, let's have theorem 3. Um, so, dito gagamit tayo ng constant multiple rule. Um, let's start. So, so first, um, suppose the limit of the function x as x approaches a is equals to n. Then, we have the limit of the quantity k where k is our constant times the function x as x approaches a is equal to the constant times the value of our limit which is n. To understand, let's have this example. So, first, um, limit of 4x as x approaches 3. So, we apply natin dito um, constant multiple rule. Get the constant, which is 4. Then, 4 times nung L, the limit of our f of x as x approaches 3. Um, let's write x as x approaches 3. Now, copy yung 4 need natin makuha is yung value nito. So, applying our theorem number 2, our a here is 3. So, 4 times 3 is equals to 12. Now, the value of our limit is 12. Now, let's have theorem 4. 
Um, ang i-apply naman nating rule dito is sum or difference rule. So, let's start. Suppose the limit of f of x as x approaches a is equals to l and the limit of g of x as x approaches a is equals to m. Then, we have the limit of the quantity f of x plus g of x as x approaches a is equals to l plus m. Um, to illustrate, let's have this problem. Um, limit 3x plus 5 as x approaches 1. Um, according to our rule, we, this can be written as limit 3x as x approaches 1 plus limit 5 as x approaches 1. Um, this can be written separately. Um, ngayon, i-apply naman natin dito ang theorem 3. Dito natin i-apply. Now, let's get the constant, which is 3 times limit of x as x approaches 1. And in this case, um, i-apply naman natin dito ang theorem 1. Um, ang constant natin dito is 5. And that is the value, 5. So, next, meron naman tayong 3 times, but first, Ang um, i-apply naman natin dito ay um, theorem 2. So, using theorem number 2, um, that is equals to our A, where it is approaching, which is 1. So, magiging 3 times 1 plus 5. So, now, 3 times 1 is... 3 plus 5 is equals to 8. That is the final answer. Yay! Theorems 1, 2, 3, and 4 are now complete. Let's proceed with Theorem 5 and 7 with Kevin Torres. Hi. Today, I'm going to showcase you on how to solve Theorem 5. Now, let's have our theorem 5, the quotient rule. Suppose we have limit of f of x as x approaches a is equal to k. And limit of g of x as x approaches a as then equals h. Then, like this, limit of f of x over g of g of x as x approaches a equals k to h wherein h must not be equal to zero this is the introduction of theorem 5 ngayon gamitin natin yung theorem sa ating halimbawa which is limit of x over 2 as x approaches 5 is equal to then meron tayong limit of x as x approaches 5 over limit of 2 as x approaches 5 is equal to as limit of x <coughs> as x approaches 5 gamitin natin ang theorem 2 since we have x here x, up, x approaches to 5 that is equal to 5 over ngayon para sa denominator Gamitin natin ang theorem 1. So, ito ang constant natin, which is 2. Then, it is equal to 2. That is our final answer. As limit equals 5 over 2 as x approaches 5. Hi, it's me. Now, 
I will show you how to showcase steering setting. We have limit 1 over x. Raised by r as x. Approaches a and using this steering, we will find it out while we're applying the unit on a on an example. For example, we have limit x squared minus x plus 2 all over x squared plus 5x plus 1. As x approaches infinity, since it's not factorable and there is an infinity line or infinite sign, we have to apply the term 7. Kapag ganito ang equation natin, gawin natin is kunin mo ang pinaka highest degree of the final of the variable which is 2 or x squared. Pagkatapos natin po yan degree, maglalagay tayo ng x squared sa bawat numerator and denominator. Which is which is like this. x squared over x squared minus 4 x over x squared plus 2 over x squared all over x squared over x squared plus 5x over x squared minus 1 over x squared. In the accordance of theorem 7, if there is a numerator higher than the denominator, then it is equal to 0. In this case, ikakansel natin ang mga ito. Which is here. Cancel, 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 which is pagiging 0, ito, 0, 0, 0. And then, ito, run out of natin, pagiging 1. Kasi pares silang terms. Then, our final answer will be lim as x approaches infinite equals 1 over 1. Now that we're done learning limits of a function, you should also know that limits are also used in real life. Um, for example, yung capacity ng isang kotse, speed limit, yung pagkain natin, yung limit nun, and yung limit ng product na ina-apply natin sa mukha natin o sa katawan, and yung limit ng bag, limit ng table, limit ng seats. Ganun. Thanks for watching and staying with us until the end, you guys. Uh, I hope you learned a lot from this video. I hope you learned a lot about limits of a function. Ayan, bye!